time that I did an IRL stream, it was at Wendy's, and I showed the number of the store on my uh, on my frame, and my viewers kept spamming, and they kept calling the store and like posting the address of the store over and over and over. And even if it got banned, uh, you know, a second after, that's still enough people to call the store up just to be funny. And to know that I was, me being there caused those people to be harassed, those employees to be harassed, made me that uncomfortable that I never wanted to do another one. Because I just, I, I don't, I don't want my presence to make their day extremely unpleasant because I think that's what it would do. And another example of this is whenever Izzy uh, took me to get my hair cut and there was a girl there and there was people calling the store literally the entire time. Like the entire time I was getting my hair cut because the, the thing that they put on me said that, you know, the name of the place and people found out where it was and they kept calling and spamming the store. And uh, I remember I tipped them a hundred dollars at the end of it. And like, I, I usually will tip people like a reasonable amount. And I, I just, I gave them a hundred dollars, man. I was like, I'm so sorry. Right. And I felt so embarrassed and so self-conscious about that, that I just don't like doing IRL streams because of the added component that I, I basically volunteer minimum wage service workers up for dealing with bullshit from hundreds of people. And I really wish I didn't have to deal with that because I love doing them and I think they're enjoyable, but the, uh, the liability that that creates just makes me extremely uncomfortable.